Christopher Titus and this is the Armageddon update. Hey, anything happened last couple days? Because, I don't know, it feels like something happened. I'm <laughs> you know, like something totally unbelievable. Like American citizens voted for a man who said he would be a dictator on day one. A man who has to pay an $81 million judgment for rape and has 34 felony charges with 58 pending. A man who was best friends with a pedophile. A million died on his watch because he couldn't handle a pandemic after he shut down the pandemic response teams worldwide. Yeah, he talked about getting even with his detractors, and he talked about people who came out against him. He actually said that Liz Cheney needed guns trained you know on her, the guns are pointed trained right in her, her face. face. Over half of Americans voted for him to be president. Yeah, the guy who tanked the economy and wanted you to inject disinfectant. Half of my country think, that's a good idea. Good game, everybody. <sighs> you know, we are purely lost in, now in America. Mike Judge, the prophet who predicted the dumbest society was on its way in his, well, I guess now it would be a documentary, Idiocracy, predicted that we would have an inept president who did not understand economics and did not understand what words mean. He nailed it. This feels biblical, but not the good, fun, Jesus took his go-karting and mini golf parts of the Bible. The weird part is... This doesn't change who he is. He still called soldiers suckers and losers. He still tried to end democracy on January 6th. He, he had 40 of 44 people who worked in his cabinet said he was the worst. A danger to society. John Kelly, his chief of staff, called him a flat-out fascist. He tried to get his vice president hung. He called Hispanics rapists, drug dealers, and thieves. And guess what? Those Hispanics voted for him in huge numbers. You know, the people that he took from their families and put them in camps? They voted for him. I don't think the Jews for Hitler coalition is very big, but Latinos for Trump. Don't remember any Hispanics at his rallies either. Hell, his rallies were half or three quarters full. So the incredibly qualified black woman, the vice president of one of the best economic and social recoveries since FDR, lost. I mean, was this because eggs were expensive? Because gas was high? Does it seem weird to anyone else? Today, you're going to have to face that America has taken a dark turn. A man who talked about a country that he called a garbage, garbage can, can just a few days ago. He also said that he wanted to terminate the Constitution. He wanted to ban it. books and that women should be punished for getting an abortion. Perhaps I'd be dead. And Americans that. voted for that. <laughs> what have we learned? Well, we learned that at its core, America, a country built on the tenets of amazing Bing. documents, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, that says all men and women are created equal, that all races are created equal. And we learned America doesn't want to be that anymore. And they sure as hell can't elect a black woman. God, no. He said he's going to start mass deportations. I love it. You think food got expensive then? Wait until there's no one to grow or pick it. They're eating the dogs. And you know, people, we're a nation of immigrants. You know, if you live here, your people came from somewhere else. Bing, we're bing. all immigrants. Trump's mother was an immigrant. His grandfather was an immigrant. Bing, bing, I mean, bing. unless your name is Flies with Eagles or Snuggles with Ferrets. Your people came here from somewhere else. China? This guy said he wants to stop immigrants and immigration. He wants to deport millions. I'm going to give you a quote about immigration. If we ever close the door to new Americans, our leadership in the world would soon be lost. That was Republican Ronald Reagan said that. Trump said he's going to be a dictator on day one. And mega America says, said, cool. What's a dictator? I love the poorly educated. So I'm going to close today with one last quote. And this is from one of our founding fathers. And it is really for all of you 15 million Democrats that didn't show up to vote. And those that voted for the elderly, dementia-addled, inept, illiterate, bankrupt, racist. Twice. Thomas Jefferson said, The government you elect is the government you deserve. Good game, everybody. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Never been more disgusted with my country and my life. Former President Trump has been called as the next president of the United States.